Hello everyone, lesbians and son coming at you with another cooking video. This is what Nikki is going to be making. She's going to be making a lamb kidney sauce with these things in. And with that, the starch is going to be pup, which I think Americans would know as grits. But I don't know. You guys can leave that in the comments and let me know once you've seen what it is. Carry on watching and you'll see just how she does it. Hi everyone, start with the basics, chopping onion, first it's cleaning the onion, which usually leaves me crying, But you can just pause it in between. Um, if you don't know, then most packets have instructions. Follow it closely. And one tip, stir a lot. Don't just forget about it. It's not pasta. It's not rice. It's pop. Go little bits at a time so that you can stir it don't fill it to the brim with the water because it needs the water to absorb which makes the pup porridge I've already added salt. Uh, I usually do that when I put the water on to boil. Now the water isn't boiling yet. Um, pop has this thing where it does like this lava pop thing, which burns the shit out of you. So I do this my way. It's a little slower perhaps. But I get burnt less. See, the lava thing is starting. I use my shield. And then I'm going to turn the heat down so that it's more like medium to low. It's not something you cook fast. This should be done and busted in about 40 minutes. Peeling my taters. Um, there's more chef like people out there who does their prep before time. I'm not one of them. Which sometimes isn't a good thing because then you're like, like under pressure cooking. But it is what it is. Now I'm just going to chop my onion. This makes Sage's eye twitch because she's very precise with me not so much. Pushing that on. <clears throat> it's 
spray all of this into the pan. I like onion, that's why <laughs> there's so much of it. You like less, use less. Because I like the flavour, I put this in with the onion, but it's optional and you can add it later or leave it out completely. And into the pan we go. It's easiest to use scissors. No. Touch it as little as possible. Now I just snip it into small pieces to fry with the onion bean paper. This is also now going into the pan to <laughs> adding a bit of salt and I'm adding some of this now. You can add it later or keep it out as you wish. going in I'm putting it on top for right now and I'm gonna mix the spices to go in. In case you're wondering these are uh, bay leaves that I put in here to keep the, um, what do you call it, baby weevils out of the curry. <laughs> mm. Smell. <laughs> With that, any liver or kidneys, I always add Worcester sauce. It has a specific tang that seems to just go well with that. Then I add some tomato paste or tomato sauce. Ketchup, I guess, depends on where you come from.
Yeah. I'm going to add a tiny drop of vinegar. Like that. And about a spoonful of sugar. Teaspoon. I'm going to mix this. So I'm going to add this as is to that, stir it through a little bit, and then add the tomatoes and water, and then it just has to cook. Use this just to get water just now. Any of these ingredients are optional, but I like the curry flavor as well as the, the tang from the tomato and whisky sauce. Like this. Potatoes are also completely optional. I like what it does afterwards when it's cooked. It's got that. Potato texture, I don't know the correct words. <laughs> so now I want this to fry with this just a little bit, it's not too long, because otherwise it's going to start burning. But that way you ensure that all of the flavor goes in everywhere. Just taken some water in the cup where I mixed my spice mixture, my sauce mixture, and I'm just going to add it a bit at a time. Because it's not a lot of potato, I might not need to add more water, but I'll determine that once this is cooked for a little bit more. That's it. Now I'm going to put a lid on and let it cook away for, um, let's say, 10 minutes. Buddy, so it's not allowed to touch the food or help with the preparation in any way. Now, this has been stirred at least twice already, added a little bit more water. Not a lot, it's just you don't want it to burn. It can 
can like sear a little on the bottom because it actually adds nice flavor if you can think about um, any corn uh, product so it, it adds some flavor to the pot but you don't want it to burn and then we're stirring we try and go from the outside to the middle to make sure everything gets stirred Um, pop is very much the consistency of mash um, and so if you would prefer to have it with mash go right ahead pop is more our traditional African uh, uh, what's that word? Steak. there you go thank you